go over an easy way on how to remember blood type compatibility. So we have four main blood groups. We have O, A, B, A, and B. And from that, we get the eight blood types like O positive, O negative, A positive, A negative, and so forth. Now, whenever you're studying this material, what you wanna do right off the bat is you wanna go ahead and memorize that universal donor and universal recipient. So a universal donor is a blood type that can freely give to all the blood types. So we're talking about blood type O. And how I remember that blood type O is a universal donor, I remember that the word donor has two O's in it. That's what tips me off. So we know that O's can give to other O's, they can give to AB's, they can give to A's, and they can give to B's. Now, although they're generous here, they are really particular on who they can receive from. They can only, which also starts with an O, they can only receive from other O's. Then we have the flip side, ABs. They are the universal recipient. They can take blood from all the other blood types. So I like to think of them as acquiring all blood types. So we know that they can receive from ABs, they can receive from A's, B's, and O's. Now, they are very specific on who they can donate to though. They can only donate to other ABs. Now that we have that information, everything else is super easy to fill out with the A type and the B type. So with A's, we know that A's can donate to other A's and they can also donate, of course, to AB's because they like everyone's blood. They like all blood types. They can receive, A's can receive from other A's, of course, and they can receive from the universal donor, O's. B's can donate to B's and they can donate to AB's who likes all blood. And then B's can receive from other B's, and of course they can receive from the universal donor, O's. Now let's talk about RH factor for a moment. So these are special factors that are found on red blood cells. So either a red blood cell has them or they don't. If a red blood cell has these factors, the person's known as being RH positive. If they don't have these factors, they're RH negative. So an RH positive person can receive positive and negative blood. However, an RH negative person can only receive negative blood. So let me quiz you. If we have a patient who is A positive, what kind of blood can they receive? They can receive A positive and A negative, and O positive and O negative. However, let's say the patient is A negative. What can they receive? They can only receive A negative and O negative. Now, if you'd like to take a deeper look into this topic, you can check out my comprehensive video on my YouTube channel, Registered Nurse RN.